Does this mean uh, that Chimera is going to let the world end? Of course not. That's what we're back in Dewey Novak for. I'm not allowed to let a tragedy like Big the whatever happen again. Zine SPO? You, okay, yeah, so Z I E N E is how they go with. The world wants peace, and that's what I'm fighting for. Except for you. You'll take out for him. And then. So, Setsuko demands that Zine explain why the Chimeras aren't fighting for real. And she asks uh, what she'd do with that knowledge. And says that um, Setsuko should be more concerned with her body than anything else. Uh, the spheres are growing ever close to being completely fused with them. And that uh, should be telling that the dimensional collapse is close at hand. Uh, and then Xena's like, well, whatever, this is the last time I'll see you. See you later, Setsuko. And she goes. Emma is worried about Setsuko, but Setsuko's like, I'm fine. Our priority now is stopping the oratorio. And then, boink. Uh, her eyes go, and internally she's like, oh, the blindness has come back. Alright, buddy, just hold on just a little bit longer. That's a massive waste of love, but it's fine. We got him. Now that's the fallen angel feather, feather, I believe. Bullshit. Okay, so we get him and he's like, You're far too late, wingless ones. I now depart to watch over the tree of life from Atlandia. And he leaves. And then Apollo, damn it, we gotta get there too! Hold on, Apollo. We have to stop that huge weapon right now. Apollo, I know the fight in the Fallen Angels is important, but the priority now is protecting Earth. I got it. Let's put this freak down in a hurry and go after Toma. Get him. Sandman's still not ready, I guess. Bang, 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 bang. I'm gonna beat my buddy. I wanna get to the... I wanna see the stupid boats attack. Pretty good. Oh, he's in all this stupid bullshit. Yeah, the Frost Brothers are all blown up. All blown up to fuck. Until they show up later, but they're definitely dead for now.
Yeah, that's what I expected out of that one. Fillers have gone. Oh my god, you guys don't have a. Alright, fine, sure. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Julie Ship is more than a little Exalian. Oh, now she's then. The fucking love. Alright, sure. Later. I want to take out all of the not Aquarian dudes. So then the Fallen Angels will f fight me and I can actually, you know, get them. bad guys. I came over here, just hung out for a little bit so you could fight me instead. There we go. Salmon's finally ready to join in. Little naked fella, and then more fella. The Abari design process. Keep slapping shit on until you're ready to go. Ultimate Gravion. Ultimate It's just the regular, like it's regular Soul Gravion, but with the other shit on his shoes. But you know. The world we live in. Yeah, 
accidentally fucking died. And the Zila, I believe, which is good. Oh my fucking god. These guys are ruining my life. So I'm gonna map attack them. There's a lot of stuff. It was two crows. It was an all attack. Oh my god. Do it, you earned my ire now by stealing a bop from me, the bop master. Raise a hand to the sky in salute of Sandman. Sandman. Oh my god, you still couldn't fucking attack me, could you? You had to get that one last skidooer. Despicable angels. Wish I was Sam and IRL. I'm gonna be it when I grow up. Alright, alright. Uh, you can't do shit, right? There's the G-bits, but I gotta get out of the way of the bullshit of the guy! Sword. I'm Garrett, and I ain't letting you guys destroy the world, because I want to live there with Tifa. He's actually like the very first dude on the very first page of their attack with, but... Look at this fucker! Alright, nerd. Thank you, Milan. I mean, it's a lot to get those crows, but I want to get them crows, alright? Fortunately, there's nowhere that's really safe from Nerve Ash. Got the zeal. Nine percent chance to murder Camille. I mean, most just want those two fuckers after all the bullshit they put me through. wasn't even a valid hit anyway, so... Should probably... We do this bullshit. Wow, 
Are you telling me that Dewey Novak... Actually, 237. He probably does beat him, actually. Yeah, 226. <gasps> I think you need to beat him by 20 to do it, though. So that's, that's fine. I'll have that way this time. Crash a plane into him. That's actually a follow up. So, enemies, just these two things, alright. Supplying. Yeah, support yourself with that bullshit, buddy. Final move yet? Yeah, he does. It's bombs because he's a good support man. Sure. Um, Pretty sure Roger's got this in the bag, no matter what. Oh, he can't support himself though. Seems ridiculous to me. Sam, man. Sam has got the good shit. He's got that guaranteed crit on it, too. Go, big Sam, man. Go, Berg, or go home. Jiren's like, nah, I ain't joining in. Not from this close. Yeah, 
Moby Dick Anchor. This weird fella head. Um, Nerve Ash against him? Come and get me, Nerve Ash. We already have a replacement for you. Whichever one emerges victorious, the outcome will not change. This world will be saved by my hand. But that might be after he gets killed. We'll see. I think that's what. Now look at this dude being super mondo tough. Disgusting. So, who we got left? Is it just Setsuko? I think it's just Setsuko who's going to save the world today. She's gonna support herself because Sad Man's too busy. Lauren. Sure thing, Lauren. Sure. That's the way you wanna go. You wanna not get any of that juicy experience. Fine by me, dude. Here we go. Uh, Dewey's ship has stopped attacking. But it's humongous. Very difficult for us to destroy it completely. Nerds. They still had this many troops left? I'm going in! Holland! I'll break in there with the 303 and come out commandeer the bridge. We'll cover you, Chief. Yeah, actually says leader. Go and settle accounts with your past. For your future. Go on. Whoosh. Holland, wait! Tallow! Don't do it! If you kill Dewey, it'll. Stay away, we will not let you harm the Colonel. Piss off, brats, this is between me and Dewey. He's right, all of you stand down. But, you will disobey a direct order? <laughs> Forgive me. We pray for your victory, Colonel. All these weird little children run off. Those children were bur born curs cursing the world. They who lost their homeland to war, who had their very existence denied from the moment of their birth, children who fell into the shadows of humanity. And so, what, you took them in and raised them as your faithful pawns? These unappreciated children were meant to be the foundation of a new world order. If you're that much about the future, why couldn't you bring yourself to trust Eureka and Renton? Because even with the break of the world, society has stayed the same. What? The same rampant egotism, says the man who's like, I'm the king. Uh, the same traditions and unchanging power hierarchy as the old world. Even as the new multidimensional world, everything's remained exactly as it was. However, by raising it all to the ground, a new order, a new society may be born. You want to destroy both the Corallians and current society? And when the new order begins, humanity will at last break away from the bindings of the past. At that moment, human dignity will truly be safe. How can you talk about human dignity? You even stop to think about how many people died due to this mess you made? I've expressed myself poorly. Uh! What I'm doing is atoning for our sins, and though it will defend both humanity and through it, will defend both humanities and this planet's dignity. Why can't you understand that? Huh, the man who's made it all the way to the top of the army isn't measuring up at all. A millennia ago, as the black history drew close to its end, this planet was overrun by the Corallians. In our splintered off universe, the planet our ancestors arrived at was devoid of its inherent order. Its dignity long since destroyed past any possible recovery. And then, society was engulfed in chaos once more. Why should this planet persist after being that far gone? And then, hold on now, if you want to die that badly, then do it on your own time. I've taken upon myself the fate of purging this corrupted world and defending its dignity. And by doing so, I've become one with the world, with this very planet. Mine and the planet's life are the same. Brother, 
you didn't. And then he, in the show, pulls open his shirt and reveals he's got this compact drive in his chest. Upon my death, the compact drive grafted into my body will issue on final command. If you wish to resist, then be my guest. Then he puts a gun to his head. However, I'll die together with this planet's dignity. So cry and scream to your heart's content. This is the beginning of a brand new world. Brother, stop! I didn't realize it in time. I couldn't save my brother. It was all too late. And then back outside. Stop Holland! He's trying to get himself killed! Why would he do that? This isn't good, the Oratorio is activating. We didn't make it, Holland? Eureka! Let's go, Renton! actually is the same cutscene as before though where you shot the thing that you already blew up but then shot us yeah well, they've made the, the the gunshots in these last three stages be super impactful and then it's free because Roger was there okay and then This is the area that Dewey told me about. The place where they dropped the fortress at. The Corallian's core. What's going to happen here? If I actually get to survive through this whole war, I'm going to have a small mirror and practice smiling. I'll practice over and over until I can see him again. If I was allowed to live without hurting others, I let my hair blow in the wind, take one big step forward and set out to meet him with my head held high. I want to live, so I can tell him how thankful I am. Bonk. You can tell him! D you can go on living. Nobody's ever said that you couldn't. But it hurts so much. He isn't with me anymore. It's, it's too much for me. You're wrong. I know for sure he'll come back to you. Your feelings will certainly get through to him, Anemone. No, Eureka. There's no way they would. Bonk. Is the freedom. And the uh, Iron Gate. This is Atlandia. This looks awful. The whole area is falling apart. But if something the size of Messiah fell here, I expect a whole lot more damage. What's going on? And then Jurgen. There it is, Dominic. We've located the end. Bonk. An Emily. An Emily. Which is the end, my only friend. The end. Open the hatch. We've got Gulliver here with me too. Look at him. Weird fucking thing. Dominic! Gulliver! Huge gust of wind. Whoa! Damn it, he got kicked off the KLF. He's gonna get blown away. Save him, Gulliver. Yeah, Gulliver's a big weird flying squirrel thing. What? How's he not getting carried away inside the windstorm? You saved me, Gulliver. Your mass control ability stopped the wind from taking me. It's made him ultra heavy or whatever or the opposite who knows Dominic Anemone uh, did the messiah drop really destroy the scob's core what's gonna happen to the world then Dominic if it goes according to the colonel's plan the core's destruction will send the Corallians on a rampage antibodies will spawn throughout the entire world once their time limit is passed humanity will be safe that doesn't mean anything! Do you know how much death and destruction they'll cause if it plays out like that? Hold on, Renton. There's something else over there. And then it's the weird shitty angels in the tree of life. Big Christmas tree. Despite our best efforts, Atlantia suffered great damage from the fall of that large hunk of stone. Curse those interdimensional creatures. They've warped space-time and shielded everywhere but here from harm. For what? Regardless, the tree of life is safe. Let's create our new world now, before the awakening of those creatures. The wings of the, and here's Johannes. The wings of the sun have been restored. Its pollen, of a nature different from ours, fertilizes the tree of life. And so, new angels and a new world will be born. We must also join with the tree. 
Yes, absorbed by its roots, we shall become new seedlings. To the tree of life! To the tree of life! To the tree of life! Yeah, and his weird little ship, Professor X car, he's awful. Yeah. The fallen angels! They're turning into light? Lord Johannes and the others have joined with the Tree of Life. It's beautiful. The Holy Harvest is finally at hand. Oh, but I must object! The demon of the butterfly wings. The turn next cries out to me, wants me to obliterate the fallen angels. <laughs> I'll not allow this self-serving genesis. Ah. You're here, brother! Oh, that's why Lauren wanted to get shot down, so he could get back into the car quicker. The turn now put a stop to your turn, X. This turn, X, is incredible. Just as turn A's big brother ought to be. What happened? Did you take pride in helping Lady Diana? Isn't that what pushed you to own your strength? If it was Diana who gave me that pride, then it was also her who took it away. Without one meagre word of gratitude, she left us and de descended unto Earth. Someone who rambles on about how he's fighting for such a queen, or worse, for this world cannot best me. I can and I will. Victory comes to those who truly enjoy the thrill of combat. I'll not give in to someone who's lost himself to battle. Beep, beep, beep. That's... My turn next shall now unleash its true power. And everybody else shows up. Lauren Seahack, Moonlight Butterfly Kikojo. The Tene's power is running out of control. <laughs> and this power will summon the black history once more and bring forth a new era. No, I won't let it. No, this is still 57. Blow up the tree, it sucks. The tree of life is withering away? It cannot simply be due to the butterfly's poison. Was the pollen that fertilized it incomplete? It can't be! Fucking hell. The wings of the sun regained its true light. Was it the tree pollinated by that very light? The hell do we care about that thing? Toma, I swear on my honor, I will be at the very least. Claim your head. Go ahead if you like. Either way, this world is finished. What does that mean? The roots of the Tree of Life stretch to the core forces of this planet and across the dimensional boundaries. If the tree withers away, those forces will surge forth, the dimensional boundaries will crumble, and the dwellers in between the dimensions will emerge into this world unchecked. Will the Crayons will awaken? This is... I'm feeling a person's will. Somewhere? Wait, it's countless minds all merged together. The Scub Coral. The Corallians. Is the dimensional collapse starting? It's a gigantic break! It's coming! Poor Jabby. No, but you've come so far. Ha 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 ha! This is quite the hilarious ending if I do say so myself. Still, I suppose it's not a bad one. How can you... Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Farewell, Diana! And he blows up. This world is finished. Are we just too late? Uh, Eureka! And then, an enemy. Uh, an enemy! Your choker opened! What's going on, Dominic? The same thing happened with Eureka's choker! Uh, uh, Eureka, what are you doing? Nervesh, take care of Renton. Where are you going? Eureka jumps off, heads into the crater. And his gainer. Is Eureka gonna do something? She's trying to get back to where the Corallians are at? Don't go, Eureka! Didn't you say we'd be together forever? I can't keep that promise. I'm sorry, Renton. But I... I'll keep you, our friends, in this world safe. Eureka! Bye-bye. Yuri!
Marica. That's the goal of the Ageha project? Yes, I've just finished reading this file. It's Stewie's stratagem for the entire thing. The destruction of the command cluster, the Corallian's core, was merely step one of the extermination. It was theorized that destroying the core would result not just in the antibody spawning, but also trigger the full awakening of the dormant scub coral. But that would push us past the limit of questions and trigger the dimensional collapse, no? Yes, the dimensional collapse was on the verge of happening, in tandem with the destruction of the fallen angel's tree of life. What stopped it was the surrogate command cluster. Surrogate? You mean a replacement? Yeah, like the last stages of... Z1 take fucking forever, because it takes forever to kill everything, because everything's in wide formation. But, yes, it gave uh, new order to the Kralians and maintained them asleep. Either me or Eureka were meant to turn into that. Yes, that's why the Colonel told you to head to Atlandia. But then, Eureka became the command cluster and interrupted the dimensional collapse. This doesn't make sense. I mean, I understand the part where if you destroy the core, the Kralians awaken, but... Why would Dewey destroy the command cluster in the first place if he was going to replace it with a new one? Even if he did that to stop the dimensional collapse from going through, I don't see what he was going for with the Corallians. He wanted to exterminate them, that much is certain. The Colonel meant for this death to trigger a system embedded into Eureka and Anemone's chokers. System? Said system would send a self-destruct program to all the Corallians via the surrogate command cluster. Self-destruct? Then the Corallians will be killed because Eureka became their core? That's why he needed to destroy the old scub core. When Eureka fully replaces it, the Colonel's plan will be complete. And then... Jurgens. And that will likely mean Eureka ceasing to exist as well. But, with the extinction of the Corallians, our days of fearing the dimensional collapse would be over. That can't happen. Anemone? There are people, so many of them, living inside the scub coral. What? Countless people, gathered from all different worlds. And then... Jürgens, everything had already come to a close when Eureka's light faded out. But Zuth vanished. Where the hell did they go? Beam, wing, wing, wing. Still, no fucking shops open. Where have we gone? It's a mystery. Time to end that friggin' recording. <laughs>